this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens. You're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. So today we're off to Troy, Michigan, and we're going to create a pondless waterfall. The homeowners are super excited. We are too. We love doing pondless waterfalls. They're really fun. So she is hosting a party this weekend. So our job is to go in here, start to finish, and create something that is gonna really knock her socks off I can't wait so let's go over to the job site and let's go check it out meet the guys there and see what kind of magic we can pull off on this one All right, so this is the space that we're going to be working in. Got a nice, real nice patio right here, low line patio. Nice evergreen backdrop. We've got a dog that's going to be greeting us in a minute here. Kind of a tight space, got about seven and a half feet, but it's going to be really cool. So we're going to be starting up here in this corner, twist, turn, drop down in a hidden basin at the bottom. I can see already we've got drain tile, we've got irrigation, so life without problems so we'll pull all that up the drain tile is going to be rerouted out to the side yard good morning good morning how you doing so we've got about a 20 foot long pondless waterfall from start to finish in the center here we're going to be doing um, the aquascapes fire bowl so there will be water going around flames coming up and then we've got two side um, fire features over here and maybe over here design might change up a little bit we're going to have the overall length um, basin is going to be down here so it'll change up as we go along So the excavation of the basin is done. Derek's moving the topsoil up into the uh, stream area now. We've got the drainage pipe out, irrigation line. Of course, we found them. There were deck posts in the corner over here where Brian's at. So we're gonna do some calculations, find out if we need to go any deeper. We'll check our, our levels and go from there. All right, end of day one. Got the basin done. Got the aqua blocks in there. Pump fault right there. I'm gonna have a drop right here, coming into the basin, going upstream to another drop right here. A little twist, turn to the start of it all. That's the spilly box. Tomorrow, boulders are gonna get here in the morning, get this thing rocked in. Plumbing's ran along this side here. That'll connect to the vault down there. Over there, we're gonna have a valve box that's gonna have uh, two different ball valves. One's gonna lead upstream, and another one's gonna be connected to a discharge pipe that goes out in the lawn area over there. So in the springtime, they shut the valve off that goes upstream, open the valve that goes out, rinse it down, pump it out. Quick and easy. So on a pondless vault, the way we calculate how big to make it, we'll take the length of the stream, the average width of the stream, the depth, multiply it by 7.48, get a total gallon for what we have in water in motion. So once we do that, we multiply that by two. So let's say this stream has 50 gallons in, in motion in the water. We want a minimum for the basin, 100. So that way once the first 50 is in here, returns back down to the pond or the basin, we've got supply. So that way we can have enough water so the homeowner doesn't have to come out here and fill it up once a day. Just a couple of little things that we have to math out to make sure that uh, things work properly.
project is finished up. Let's walk around, see how everything came out. Oh my God. Oh wow. Gorgeous patio to sit on. Now they've got a water feature that's gonna last a lifetime. Cascading waterfalls goes down into a hidden basin with a little extra twist to it. We've got our aquascape fire bowl right here. We added cut blue glass right in the center with the um, uh, fire feature right in the center. Get about three hours worth of burn time. We've also added uh, plantings in here, some Hinoki cypress, coral bells, some annual sunflowers, hostas, coneflower. We've added right here. That's another fire feature in the center. Um, it's just standalone and another one right over here. Full lighting, so she not only gets a daytime water feature, she gets a nighttime water feature too. So I've got Susan here right now, and what do you think, Sue? I love it, absolutely love it. You guys are very meticulous in everything you do. You take a lot of time displaying all the rocks. I love it, I love it, Dan. Good. I absolutely love it. Good. We're gonna do something in the front too. Well, we hope you enjoy this for years. Thanks a lot. So if you have any comments, leave them down below. Let us know what you think. That's it, that's a wrap for this one. We'll move on to the next project. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds, and we'll see you on the next one.